Mr. Gadhemia, where public schools have actually even waived some of the things that need to be done before a child is moved. And these things parents are doing while the child is at school. For instance, the transfer forms are being filled while the child is already being placed in a school. We right. really thank the public schools for mm -hmm. waiving that bureaucracy to ensure that every child is actually in a school by the end of this week. Right. So, Mrs. Kasanga, just say with me, just say with me, kindly don't leave because I need to bring in my colleague in Nyeri County because that's where we begin our coverage in Nyeri County where education CS George Magoha is expected to oversee the second day of schools reopening in the county. Now, we are joined uh, by our reporter, Daniel Karioki, live from Nyeri Town. Daniel Karioki, uh, good morning. So, talk to us about this visit by the CS. I know schools are eagerly waiting to hear from the man himself, you know, the tough talking uh, CS Professor George Magoha and probably the fate of private schools in that county. Right. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, good morning to you. And you said it right that uh, CS Magoha will be in Nyeri County. Yesterday he was in Nairobi County. You remember that he uh, had to, or rather he was inspecting uh, uh, school's uh, preparation and also the return to school by uh, students in Nairobi County and he was in Kibra School. Today he will be at uh, Edwariga Primary School here in Nyeri County. It's a public primary school and he will be overseeing to see uh, and inspecting to see exactly what's the situation and assessing the, the situation here at Nyeri County. And uh, before that, he'll be in a thicker uh, town where he'll be in Kiambu County, where he'll be inspecting schools there. Now, here in uh, Nyeri County, several uh, private schools. You remember that there is one of the uh, private schools that uh, the owner now of that private school had uh, actually uh, started a business uh, of rearing uh, chicken. And so it means that uh, some of the uh, students will have to move to the public school. But you recall that uh, CS Magoha yesterday said that public schools are almost full and so uh, the uh, capacity to have more students uh, uh, actually, uh, there might not be that uh, uh, opportunity to have the uh, students go to these public uh, schools. Well. At Gedoriga Primary School, he'll be assessing uh, the situation if uh, they have been able to put up uh, the uh, water, uh, the hand washing uh, points in Gedoriga Primary Schools and also to assess how many classes maybe uh, need more lockers, uh, just like he did in Kibra yesterday, where he said that uh, they are going to be issuing around 140 days to the students there at Kibra Primary School. It's day two, as you have said, Brenda. And of course, uh, day two is when we usually get to see uh, students from high school uh, reporting back to school, especially those in boarding schools. Yesterday being the first day, we saw uh, quite a number of uh, people going to, uh, to school, uh, the day schools, uh, day scholars actually reporting back. And today, most of them are going to be reporting our boarders. And I'm at the Nyeri uh, town, Matatu Terminal, where... Uh, most of the schools, or rather most of the students, especially those who go to uh, Nakuru County, Nanyuki area, are actually boarding matatus. And I want to speak to uh, the people in this sector, the matatu sector, to just tell us exactly what the situation is at day two of the back to school week. Uh, and I'm joined by one of the op uh, matatu operators here at the matatu na uh, Nakuru, Nairobi, as well as Nyahururu Matatu Terminal. Maybe you can just start by telling us your name and maybe what's the situation today compared to yesterday? Uh -huh. Na ito Patrick Wakivya. Leo na jana, sika jana. Jana kulikuanga na kazi. Leo hakuna watoto wengi. Watoto ni washashe. Lakini bei ya tuja ungesa. Bei ni hile hile tu ya kawaida. Watu tunabeba kama kawaida. Lakini hakuna kazi vile kama jana. Yeah. Labda unaweza kutueleze tu wakati unasema mnabeba kama kawaida je ni ile nambari ambayo imetolewa na wizara ama ni ile ambayo mlikuwa mkibeba hapo awali hmm. Tunabeba watu wa nane peke yake uh -huh. yeah. Kwa hivyo inamanisha kwamba uh, munapea yeah, wanafunzi Kwa tu ile tuliongesanga kala kama msini tuliongesa sababu ya bilia kuwa adbebi wengi mm -hmm. Bei ni ile ile tu yeah. Asante sana Wacha ni zungumza na mungine maybe you can just tell us uh, the situation currently. We've, yesterday most of the students were reporting back to uh, school. Today what's the situation here and uh, maybe which route has more students who are reporting uh, and uh, you, you would say that uh, is it, the, has business come back uh, just like it was before or what's the, the current situation? Okay. I should say, I'm going to 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 say, I
lakini wale watu wa huwa na kazi ni kutoka nakuru kuja nyauru kuja nyeri juo shule nyingi zinakuwaga central si shule nzuri nzuri zinakuwaga hapa central ama mkoa kati so hawa watu wengi kuja hapa nyeri county ndio huwa na mashule nzuri na sisi kama watu wa matatu tumeweka ile mikakati ambayo serikali imesema tunabeba watu tisa kama ni 14 sita kama ni mask mtoto lazima ana mask lakini na hiyo hiyo kitu tunahofia ni kwa shule kwa sababu ile mikakati ambayo mangao alisema minister alisema ameweka tunaona haijakamilika vizuri so kwa sababu tukiangalia mashule hakuna ndaraza ambayo zimeongezewa ni zile zile tu na kulikuwa na msongamano hata hapo mbele ni kabla hii hii uonjo ukuje kulikuwa na msongamano tu kwa shule na hakuna kitu jambo lilieni ambalo limefanywa hata sahi na, so, na pengine naweza uliza uh, kule Nairobi wanapea uh, wale uh, uh, wanafunzi wanaorejea uh, shule wanawapea nafasi kwanza kabla ya kubeba abiria wengine hapa hali iko vipi mnafanya vile ama ni vipi hapa tunachanganya wa kila mtu kasa ma wengine wa watoto wa shule tunawachanganya wote hakuna kazi hiyo kubwa a uh -huh. lakini tunaomba tu serikali kwa sababu ile mikakati ambayo walisema wataweka katika mashule hakuna mikakati ambayo imewekwa so tunahofia lakini tunaomba tu Mungu jijijia tu anaweza kutusaidia kwa sababu ukiangalia mtoto hajijuzuia watoto kwa kama shule wa kongili moja elfu moja elfu moja tu akiwa na huo uonjo anasambaza kwa so, ni tuna hofu kuwa huu uonjo unaweza ukasambazwa haraka sana watoto Naam umezungumza kama mmoja wa wale ambao wana kama mzazi vile vile. Yes. Na asante sana uh, bwana Kanengethe hapo akipata kutuelezea concerning uh, the, uh, the concerns that he has uh, and that is exactly what Magoha will be doing here in Nyeri County to assess the situation and ensure that uh, well that the, there is a smooth running of operation in uh, schools here in Nyeri. Remember yesterday he said that uh, social distancing might be uh, might prove to be a hurdle now uh, because of the number of uh, uh, students and uh, again compared to classes we've seen all over the country some of the areas they have actually pitched tent uh, as classrooms and uh, of course uh, that is part of what we are going to be following up to see once all the schools resume the kind of uh, situation we are going to be having here in Nyeri County and across uh, this region but for now I think Right, Daniel Karioki, thank you so much. And we'll be giving us more details, live coverage of uh, CS, Professor C.S. Magoha.